A four-day pleasure cruise turned hellish ordeal. 4,200 people are being towed back to shore tonight, trapped aboard the Carnival cruise ship that lost power in the Gulf of Mexico on Sunday. As new information from the passengers on board describes nightmarish scenes of squalor. ABC's Matt Gutman has the latest. Tonight, stranded at sea, as seen today from above, the Carnival Triumph, lame and powerless, being towed to port in Mobile, Alabama. It is day four of what has turned into the holiday from hell for the more than 4,000 people on board. Brent Nutt's wife, Bethany, is aboard. They spoke briefly before the phone cut out. All you hear on those phone calls is crying and talking about, I'm going to die, I'm going to die. Rob Malam and Stephanie Stevenson had hoped for a beautiful wedding at sea, married on the ship just a few days ago. They are now spending their honeymoon in squalor. The sparkling city on the sea, topped with pools, food, and booze, seen in better times in East Carnival ads, was far from the dream vacation when the ship went dark Sunday as it sailed from Mexico back to Galveston, Texas. It started when a fire had erupted in one of the engine rooms Sunday. It was extinguished by an automatic system, but not before burning out the ship's four engines. There's no light, no water, uh, we can't flush. And Barlow, seen here, hamming it up before boarding the Triumph in Galveston, texted a chronicle of misery. There is sewer running down the walls and floors. We are camping on deck. Passenger Shelly Crosby texted us, we just stood in line for four hours to get a hamburger. With scant news and few images from the ship or passengers, we flew 100 miles from shore earlier today to find the Triumph. Carnival dispatched a third tugboat out today to help assist in towing the ship to port. Have you ever seen anything like that? Yeah, we're used to seeing boats out here and, and rigs, but... Uh, as far as cruise ships uh, in distress, no. We saw no visible damage, but we did see curious passengers on deck looking up at us. Deck chairs seem to have been converted into beds, but sleeping outside will be increasingly miserable during the voyage's final hours in the cold rain. With the ship running on emergency generators, its communications are also crippled, leaving family members tonight frantic. And she was scared. She was hysterically crying, Mommy, I'm so scared. Mary Perret and Kim McCarran drove through the night from Lufkin, Texas to be here, hoping to be the first to see their 11 and 12 year old daughters. My baby's on there and I don't know that she's okay. For three days, not a single Carnival Cruise Line representative appeared publicly until President Jerry Cahill spoke Tuesday. And we obviously are very, very sorry about what is taking place. There is no question that conditions on board the ship are very challenging. Everyone's shoreside is doing everything they can to make our guests as comfortable as possible. And then later that very same night, Carnival owner Nikki Arison did appear publicly at a Miami Heat game, a team he owns, but that picture ignited anger online. These people got on their ship expecting a fun vacation. Safe to say, this has not happened. The conditions from what we know on board the ship are quite bad. This is the third time in a month this very ship has had engine trouble. The Triumph had to limp back to port on its two previous voyages. And in 2010, another Carnival ship lost propulsion a few days from land and required spectacular rescue. Navy choppers flown in to drop 70,000 pounds of supplies, including lots of spam. Gordon and Chris Gilbert were aboard that Splendor voyage in 2010 and recalled that nightmare. We started to smell some smoke coming into our cabin. There was a, uh, an announcement over the loudspeaker, woke everybody up. And uh, we knew then that there was something serious. Things can go spectacularly wrong on cruise ships. Just over a year ago, the Costa Concordia, carrying 4,000 passengers on board, collided with rocks just off the coast of Tuscany. 32 people died. But travel experts say those are the exceptions and that no one on the Carnival Triumph is in any imminent danger. The people on board that ship are horribly uncomfortable, but from everything we know, they are not in any danger. So at the very minimum, Carnival seems to be keeping them safe. Tonight, as the ship is towed to shore, the Port of Mobile is dealing with the delicate task of docking the boat. And perhaps the most delicate maneuver for Carnival Cruise Lines, dealing with the disembarking passengers. For the holiday, that wasn't. 
I'm Matt Gutman for Nightline in Mobile, Alabama. Well, today, Carnival Cruise Lines announced that in addition to issuing a full refund for the cruise, it will give each passenger at least 500 additional dollars in compensation.